Tamarixia triose is a parasitic wasp. It was introduced into New Zealand in 2017 to help reduce populations of the tomato potato psyllid, or TPP. Tamarixia can be purchased from Bioforce by anyone interested in releasing it and using it to help reduce TPP populations. Tamarixia can develop from an egg to an adult in 12 days under warm temperatures. The female lays an egg between a TPP nymph and the leaf surface. It hatches in about 36 hours and results in the death of the nymph approximately four days later. The Tamarixia larvae develop to pupae four to six days after hatching from the egg under warm temperatures. The ideal release site will have host plants that are present year-round at or near the release site, not have been sprayed or will be sprayed with any insecticides, be fairly sheltered if possible, have psyllid nymphs, eggs and adults present. For the long-term successful establishment of Tamarixia, it helps if there are populations of tomato potato psyllid available year-round and in consecutive years at the release site. The host plants of TPP are mainly within the Solanaceae family. Major crop host plants include tomato, potato, capsicums, chili peppers and tamarillos. Non-crop host plants include African boxthorn, the native poroporo, thorn apple, apple of Peru, Jerusalem cherry and Chinese boxthorn. Once the site has been selected and you have received your parasitoids in a vial, transport them to your site as soon as possible. If you can, find TPP nymphs at your release site. Open the vial close to these TPP nymphs. There are two methods for releasing Tamarixia from the vial. The first is by attaching the vial directly onto the plant using a twist tie and leaving it for a few days. Ensure the vial is mostly horizontal to prevent rain falling into the vial. The second is by aiming the opening of the vial towards the nymphs and gently flicking or tapping the base of the vial. This method is most effective if TPP nymphs are abundant. The best time to look for parasitized TPP nymphs is when they are most abundant in summer and autumn. Using a magnifying glass is recommended. It's difficult to tell if a TPP nymph has a Tamarixia egg or larvae on it because they're hidden underneath the nymph. As the pupae develops, the TPP nymph starts to change colour and texture, changing from a plump yellow or green nymph to a brown beige desiccated looking nymph. This is when it's possible to spot parasitised psyllid nymphs. When the Tamarixia pupae has developed into an adult, it chews its way through the remains of the TPP nymph, leaving a distinctive exit hole behind. <laughs>